Teach us to raise our minds and our hearts often to the enemy, and to fix their eyes respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us in the path of our life, do not be a stranger to the prayer programs, your charities, and your shelter. Turn your merciful ears towards us, draw us into your presence, shower us with your kindness, lead us into the light. Oh, 
fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O oh Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. Peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced, Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. The Spirit is the witness because the Spirit is the truth. <clears throat> Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my in the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, Abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your 
strength to your servant and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor that my foes may see to their shame that you console me and give me more help. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Spirit is the witness, because the Spirit is the Let your light shine before men, that they may give glory to your Father. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain, and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it, Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into <coughs> plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Let your light shine before men, that they may give glory to your Father. Glory to God in the highest. O sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens, is our majesty and state and power, and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple, O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord. 
For he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With, With justice, justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Glory to God. very well that the day of the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. Just when people are saying peace and security, ruin will fall on them with the suddenness of chains overtaking a woman in labor, and there will be no escape. You are not in the dark, brothers, that, that they should catch you off guard like a no, all of you are children of light and of the day. You belong neither to darkness nor to night. Therefore, let us not be asleep like the rest, but awake and sober. is it to a man to gain the whole world if he pays for it by losing his soul? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Of what use is it to a man to gain the whole world if he pays for it by losing his soul? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who called the Virgin Saint Teresa to respond to the love of your Son thirsting on the cross with outstanding charity to the poorest of the poor, grant us, we beseech you, by her intercession, to minister to Christ in our suffering brothers and sisters, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Through the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O John, shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the fruit, the eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, that despite our memories, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his life, and by the art of the wounded heart of the Apocalypse, under the life and guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother. Angelus Domini Nunciavit Mariae, et concepit et Spiritus Sanctum. Ece Ancilla Domini, fiat mihi secundum verbum tu. Et verbum caro factum est, Et habit habit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus. Et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis Sancta Dei Genitri, Ut digni apiciamur commissionibus Christi. Moremus. Da 
Gratiam tuam quesimus domine mentibus nostris impunde, ut qui angelo nunciante Christi filitui incarnationem cognovimus, per passione meus ad crucem, ad resurrectionis gloriam perducamur, periundem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen.